sex offender registries are designed to allow law enforcement and the public to keep track of those who might reoffend. But an Inside Edition investigation found there are tens of thousands of high-risk sex offenders around the country who have not registered, and authorities have no idea where they're living. How hard are these people to find? We asked Lisa Guerrero to try to track one down. It looks like he's going for a walk. I'm on the trail of a dangerous sex offender wanted by police. His name is Matthew Lee Aiken, convicted of indecent assault and battery on a child. The issue? He's repeatedly failed to register as a sex offender. The police and public have no idea where he is, so we decided to track him down. Turns out he's very active on Facebook, and several of his posts led us here to Worcester, Massachusetts, just outside Boston. According to Facebook's policy, sex offenders aren't allowed to have profiles, but he's been a member since 2008. This image on Facebook shows him with a woman with hearts around them. We think he may be staying with a woman in the house across the street. Check out the windows. They're all blacked out. Kind of creepy. And check this out. There's a caution children sign directly across the street from where he's been staying. And sure enough, we saw plenty of kids playing right outside. It's actually a school bus stop. That's a big problem because as a level three offender, he's considered a high risk to reoffend. That's him. He's coming out of the house right now. He goes on a walk and eventually meets up with a friend. They hang out on the porch smoking. When he left, I approached him. Are you trying to hide the fact that you're a convicted sex offender? No. Then why haven't you reported and registered your address with the authorities? Been busy. You've been busy? Well, we just saw you hanging out and smoking. Yes, I've been busy, like I said. I immediately called local police. We have an address for him that we'd like to report. Aiken is not alone. We found thousands of other convicted sex offenders across the country that have apparently failed to register. Laura Ahern, director of Parents for Megan's Law, which tracks sex offenders, says it's a dangerous situation. Over 25% of the nation's registered sex offenders are not likely where they said they were going to be, and that makes our children and our community members unsafe. Is it safe for your neighbors to be around you? Of course. Four days after we reported Aiken, police arrested him at that same address. They charged him with failing to register as a sex offender. His Facebook account has been disabled.